So, just got this microwave and it has no power to it. Just hooked it up to power. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna look to see if it's a bad fuse. The only thing that I'm gonna be needing for today is uh, just a Torx bed. Uh, any one of these with the key lock ones, I just gotta size it up. Uh, this is the TT20 and that's what I'm gonna need. It's just four screws in the back. This one's really simple and it comes all apart. All right, so this is uh, another microwave that I just kind of uh, tore apart. Definitely when messing with this guy, uh, this is your transformer. Uh, I never even touch it. When I go around there, I try to go, uh, I never even mess with it to tell you the truth because uh, with the transformer, uh, all you need to be is shocked once and you're gonna die. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 30,418 amps. So <clears throat> definitely don't mess with the transformer. This is definitely not here uh, from outer space to save you. This guy here, <clears throat> right there, that is your magnetron. This magnetron is in really good condition. I did find out that the fuse itself was burnt. <clears throat> All right, so what this does, it sends a little tiny bit of electricity through a component and it's an audio sound that you're gonna hear. Uh, for this one, you're gonna test it. It's gonna go right in here. This fuse is burnt, so uh, I should. If uh, I didn't see this black band here, this black band there, uh, just basically says it burnt from the inside and you could see that black band. No sound, you should hear a sound. So that's the first thing that I'll do and this, Microwave was not doing anything. This is a six dollar fix. I'll go ahead and replace it with these new ones. Go ahead and get one of these fuses out. I'll install it and then put it all back together. I didn't see anything burnt, anything else uh, with this. 100% is a bad fuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the fuse really quick. Touch one side, that's exactly what you want to hear. Go ahead, put my lead right here, my lead right there. Now I'll put everything back together and uh, give it some power. On the outer edge here is just a lip. This gets pressed in, that gets pressed in into this section here. These are TT20. It's the only special tool that you'll need. With these screws here, you do have a, they're keyed in. this one I just needed a new fuse I'll go ahead and clean it up it's good to go the light works next project is definitely uh, the blower on this it does not blow hot on my dryer and I'll definitely be fixing that really good microwave everything works on it really clean 